Did you know you can use your body parts to get good rough measurements when you need to? Now, what do I mean by that? Now, if someone says they want six foot of something or they want nine inches of something or maybe they want 18 feet of something, you can use your body to get a pretty accurate rough measurement of the measurement that's needed. And this all came to play, I didn't even realize this until I got into the lineman trade, was the lineman was up in the bucket working and he called down and he was like, hey Austin, can you get me six foot of number four covered copper? And I was thinking, oh yeah, let me grab my tape measure and measure out six feet. The foreman, he came up to me, he's like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, uh, he wants six feet of copper. And the foreman kind of looked at me weird. You don't have to measure out six feet exactly. He said, no, you, how tall are you? And I was like, I'm about six foot or so, six one on a good day. He was like, so your wingspan from fingertip to fingertip is probably around six foot. I was like, oh yeah, I guess that is true, duh. So he's like, let's measure it right now. So then I took my dog on tape measure and he's like, all right, let's, let's, measure, let's measure your body right now just to show you that these body parts are pretty well accurately or you know, a rough measurement of most measurements that you know, you'd ever need. Because in the lineman trade, you don't technically need precise measurements all the time. 90, 95% of the time, you just need rough measurements. The only real times you need like precise measurements would be when you're terminating underground primary or something like that, where, you know, you're using your measurements to strip off a certain amount of semi-con and insulation and jacket and things like that. So he's like, yeah, let's measure out your wingspan right now. And I was like, okay, let's do it. So he's like, all right, you know, wingspan, he said, you're six foot. I was like, yeah, I think so. And he's like, okay, your wingspan is well, 73 inches. Well, good. I was like, oh, that makes sense, right? 73 inch wingspan. So I'm about six foot. And he said, okay, let's see, let's see this other thing. What do you think the wingspan of your fingers are? And I was like, I don't know, like seven inches. He was like, for the most part, most people's finger wingspan is around eight to nine inches. I was like, okay, let's check that out. So he's like, all right, let's measure it. And I was like, yeah, it's right there at about eight, eight to nine inches. So if for some reason somebody needs nine inches of something or roughly nine inches, you can just use your wingspan of your fingers. And he also told me, well, you should have a pair of nine inch clines. So if you take the measurement, you know, your clines are probably nine inches long. So if you need to cut something at nine inches, you can always just use your clines as well. From that, I was like, well, shoot. I mean, yeah, someone needs something 18 inches long. I can just do nine and nine, and that's roughly 18 inches long. And for the most part, when a lineman or someone says, hey, I need six foot of something, they don't need exactly six foot. They, they probably don't need six foot exactly. They probably need five feet, but they're gonna tell you, I want six foot, because they'd rather have enough than not enough. So when they call out and say, I need 12 feet of number two copper, and you just can just go, all right, well, six, 12 and then you cut it and now you have roughly 12, 13 feet of copper. And then you send it up on the hand line to the guy and ends up cutting off three feet anyway, but at least he had enough or more than enough than what he needed. You can also, your hand finger span being roughly nine inches, I also wanna show you that this is roughly six inches and this is roughly four inches. So if you ever wanna be like, oh yeah, I need something four inches long or six inches long, you know, this is six, this is four, this is nine roughly. And then with that, all that information, you can be, this is nine, this is 18. And then if your wingspan is around six feet, then you know from fingertip to chest is gonna be roughly three feet. And then from fingertip to armpit is around four foot, fingertip to elbow is around five feet, and then fingertip to fingertip is roughly six feet. You can use your body as measurements for most rough things. If someone says, hey, I need 15 feet, you can always do six, 12, 12 plus three is 15, 15. And now you have a rough measurement of 15. It's not all the time, like I was saying, that you really need to have exact measurements. It's very, very rare when you actually really do. In the lineman trade, I don't know how it is in a lot of trades, but I could imagine 
there are other trades out there that are going to be like, oh, yeah, I just, you know, can I get 12 foot of this? And you can either take out your tape measure and measure out 12 feet or you can just like use your wingspan. Of course, you do like construction, like framing stuff like that you're using you know quarter inches eighth inches you're gonna need a board cut at 13 feet three and a half inches or something like that so of course you can't use your body measurement for the most part on that kind of stuff you know and there's trades out there that use more precise measurements i just want to show to you guys today that hey you can use your body for a lot of rough accurate measurements and with that being said blueprint i'm here to expose teach and educate you about blue collar career opportunities things that'll help you in the skill trades like being able to use your hands, your wingspan, your arms, your body to get good, accurate, rough measurements. That being said, I'll catch you on the next one.